today on MTG Unpacked, we're having a pack battle between Nicole Bolas and Ajani. And leave a note in the comments if you can predict who will win. We're also getting stuck into this box of Dominaria and also cracking a pack of Conspiracy. So the patrons today will be cracking packs for. We have Jeremy Worden and Paper Time. So thank you for being patrons, guys. Let's get stuck into it. Brand new box of Dominaria, so hopefully we can get some tasty pulls for you guys. So, paper time. He requested one pack of Conspiracy and one of Dominaria, so we'll set those over there. And Jeremy gets two packs of Dominaria. Alright, and then move these guys aside. We will do the pack blessings right away. So we have Nicole Bolas for Jeremy. Pop him up out of frame here so we don't focus on him. And Paper Time Ajani blessing the packs of Dominaria and Conspiracy. Alright, let's get stuck into it here. So, Jeremy, good luck. And incidentally, Jeremy is a greedy man this month. He is also after a Chaos Mystery Box. That's one of these things, if you have not seen them already, I will leave a link in the corner here so you can check out the previous unboxing from last weekend. Alright, so he's like, give me my regular packs, please, and also a mystery box. So hopefully we can get him some good pulls. We have a Vidalian Arcanist, Invoke the Divine, Gitu Journey Mage, Lanawar Envoy, Blessing of Bells and Lock, Sapling Migration, Jousting Lance, Thalid Omnivore, Gideon's Reproach, Run Amok. And for the Uncommons we have Urza's Tome, Wild Onslaught, Damping Sphere, and I believe that's a good one. Uh, this is an artifact for two. If land is tapped for two or more mana, it produces Colorless instead of any other type and amount. Each spell a player casts costs one more to cast for each other spell that player has cast this turn. We'll set that one aside for Jeremy. And the rare is Torgar Famine Incarnate. Legendary creature avatar 7, 6, 4, 8 mana. As an additional cost to cast this spell, you may suck any number of creatures. This spell costs two less to cast for each creature sacrificed this way. And when it enters the battlefield up to one target player's life total becomes half their starting life total. Rounded down. Nastiness. And a forest and a sapling. Alright. Let's move on to... We'll save that one conspiracy. We'll do another pack of Dominaria here. Save the conspiracy for last, I think. Next we have Befuddle. Sergeant at Arms. Fervent Strike, and by the way, this is Paper Times Pat. Just get that straight. Fervent Strike, Adventurous Impulse, Blessing of Bells and Lock, Grow from the Ashes, Avon Sentry, Seismic Shift, Blink of an Eye, Sapling Migration, and oh, here's a nice pull. Uncommons, we have Cast Down, Instant for Two, Destroy Target, Non Legendary Creature. Set that one aside. Weight of memory. Oh, and then nearly skipped past the rare, which is Lich's Mastery. Legendary enchantment for six. Holy moly, has hexproof. You can't lose the game. Whenever you gain life, draw that many cards. Whenever you lose life, for each one life you lost, exile opponent you control, or a card from your hand or graveyard. When Lich's Mastery leaves the battlefield, you lose the game. Okay. And Quen Pride of Femorif is the legendary creature with a forest and a sapling token. Okay, let's crack this next pack of Dominaria here for Jeremy. Good luck, sir. We have a Gitu Chronicler Syncopate. Banalish Honor Guard. Lanoir Scout. What is up? I'm not able to get these cards. Dry Hands, I suspect. Dark Bargain. Academy Drake. Skittering Surveyor. Thalid Omnivore. 
Lanawawa Elves, there's a good one, I'll chuck that in. Gideon's Reproach, and for the Uncommons we have Wizard's Retort, and incidentally, um, the patrons will be getting the Rares, Mythics, Foils, and anything over a buck. Um, not sure about Wizard's Retort, I think that was under, but definitely I'll keep an eye out during editing. Merfolk Trickster, and the Rare! <laughs> Oh, no way, Mythic! The juiciest Mythic, I believe. Or is Teferi? I've lost track. Jeremy, your greed paid off this month because you got a Khan Scion of Urza. You lucky man. Legendary Planeswalker Khan. Five loyalty for four mana. His plus one is rule the top two cards of your library and opponent chooses one of them. Put that card into your hand and exile the other with a silver counter on it. It's minus one is put a card your own with a silver counter on it from XL into your hand. It's minus two is create a zero zero colorless construct artifact creature token with. This creature gets plus one plus one for each artifact you control. Craziness. I cannot believe that. You are the luckiest man. All right. Tiana Ship's Caretaker is the legendary creature with a mountain and a sapling token. Okay. Paper time. Finishing off here with a pack of Conspiracy. Good luck, sir. Let's move some of these things aside here so I don't get them all mixed around during sorting. We have a Dream Fracture, Courier Hawk, Brainstorm, Cinderwall, Enraged Revolutionary, Zombie Goliath! Elvish Aberration, Stronghold Discipline, that's pretty cool. Tyrant's Choice, Hunger of the Howl Pack, and Uncommons we have Soul Catcher, Wood Sage, Predator's Howl, and Rare is Rout. So what is this? This is a sorcery for Five, you may cast her out any time you could cast an instant if you pay two more to cast it. Destroy all creatures, they can't be regenerated. And if I'm not mistaken, there's, uh, what's the name, Elish Norn. Pretty cool artwork on that one. All right, pop it over here. And the conspiracy is advantageous proclamation with a zombie token. All right, so my picks today. In the rare slot, well, how could I choose anything else? Khan, Scion of Urza. We just crack the box and we pull a Khan for Jeremy. So, what sort of luck is that? He should go out and buy some lottery tickets. That is pretty insane. And in the uncommon slot, let's go digging through here. Let's take a look at this one. This looks interesting. So we have Wild Onslaught. It's an instant for four. Has Kicker four, so you may pay an additional four as you cast this spell. Put a plus one plus one counter on each creature you control. If this spell was kicked, put two plus one plus one counters on each creature you control instead. <laughs> We've got a whole army of creatures there. It's pretty cool. All right, and in the common slot, let's have a look here. Um, we'll dig through the conspiracy stuff. Maybe there's something interesting. We just got started on a new box of this as well. Um, let's look at this guy. He caught my eye moment ago. So we have Hunger of the Howl Pack is my pick in the common slot. Instant for a single forest. Put a plus one plus one counter on target creature. Has Morbid. So put three plus one plus one counters on that creature instead if a creature died this turn. Look at that thing. All right, so that's pretty cool artwork there. All right, so leave a note in the comments if you agree or disagree with my picks. And also leave a note in the comments what you think of Jeremy's luck. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more Magic Gathering unboxings, and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as a new video is released. And if you too would like to get in on the pack cracking action like Jeremy and Paper Time here, I will leave a link to the Patreon in the description for this video. 
Thanks for watching and have a great day.